Hi guys, uh, today we are going to continue talking about our particular training strategy. I developed uh, some uh, Python files so when we could uh, create uh, uh, this strategy uh, using combination of control patterns and analyze uh, another pattern. Uh, for example, we could analyze uh, RCI or uh, volume or change of price and we're looking for a combination of different control patterns and another pattern and combination of these patterns could uh, give us some good results for back testing and we need to test it for production. Uh, I did some improvement of this function. I create uh, this uh, feature and I improve it because we need to reuse uh, some information from pandas. And you see, um, by default, we, has, we have uh, some continuous data, but we need uh, to transform this data to category variables and for this we use uh, pandas cut but we need reusing this information and i save this inter information using a new method like upload bins and uh, using save bins and i save this data into a pickle format and if i would like to, use, to re reuse this information for testing the data or production i used uh, method upload bins okay so i did some back test i would like to show you uh, uh, results of backtesting. Uh, I need to rem remember for you that um, I use uh, this uh, strategy uh, with the uh, commission of uh, Binance. That's very important. Uh, it is a very big problem for particular trading strategy. Uh, it's a commission. Okay, uh, so uh, let's let's uh, show you some information. And you see, I have a multiply of files. Uh, uh, file of backtesting is. Uh, dot png format another uh, for example like this uh, cuts primes this is uh, i save information from vector bt portfolio i save this portfolio into pico format and also i, I save information for uh, processing cat uh, from cat continuous variable to uh, category variables it's it's here introduce information let's look into all this okay uh, the name of file you see we have BTC USDT it means uh, our ticker and this is uh, last uh, year uh, five minutes uh, time series what uh, analyze and cuts price is another uh, pattern so uh, I remember uh, for you that we use uh, control patterns with additional parameters like uh, an, uh, a double factor in our case we use uh, two factor models uh, it is uh, combination of control patterns with uh, some price or volume or another indicators like RCI in this case. Let's look in. So uh, this result of back test for five minutes and, and we have some positive results but uh, here we have some drawdown. Next we have some profit and this profit more than benchmark. It's, uh, and we could use it but we need to find uh, the best parameters let's see so for uh, two hours and RCI signal it's not working uh, it means a uh, combination of control patterns with a traditional understanding like uh, if RCI more than 17 we sell and if RCI uh, less than uh, 30 uh, we should buy if you're looking for this combination it's not working for um, for computer trading strategy and uh, it's very funny when, when some traditional uh, technical anal anal analysis is not working for quantitative trading or working vice versa like this okay so let's look for a uh, combination of uh, candle patterns of volume it's also we have uh, some profitable strategy but uh, uh, another half of year is not profitable and we have some drawdown Maybe this information could be uh, useful for machine learning, for processing this information for uh, deep learning, for example. But uh, for me, it's, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in, in the strategy because I need some uh, smooth line. Smooth line. It means uh, uh, stable profit. Let's look in. It's, okay, it's it's more. It's more um, convenient for me. Uh, because we have uh, some uh, uptrend of um, balance uh, sometimes you have uh, uh, drawdown uh, but we could solve this problem using another tools 
Okay, it's it's not bad. As a combination of uh, two hours bars and card sprites. Okay, it's looking uh, good. Uh, we have a big drop down. Okay, it's looking good also. This combination for one hours and RCI sign out and it's working here and uh, last uh, several days we have very big profits from this but also we have drawdown. down let's look in what we have okay for one hours and cats well it's also profitable okay this information may be more uh, convenient for us it's profit more than 20 200 uh, percent and this uh, in this time, a ben benchmark, uh, it means a Bitcoin USDT, it's, uh, it gives us uh, some negative returns, and you see, uh, so we could use this information. It's not working, and it's working for one hour. The cuts price, it's really interesting information. Cuts RCI is working, but cuts price not working. Okay, um, so this is. Um, in this strategy, I used all combination of candle patterns. I filter this information and find the best combination of candle patterns with another indicators. Okay, I see I sign up for 30 minutes. It's working also. We have uh, in some point uh, um, profit more than uh, 300 profit, but uh, a half of year uh, we haven't good profit line. Okay, it's not interesting for me. It's very interesting situation uh, when we use uh, 30 minutes of time series for cuts RCI and cuts RCI is a good feature in, uh, for Bitcoin USDT. Uh, please remember it when I show you some back test uh, when we have cuts RCI with combination of scandal patterns we have some good uh, profit line and some uh, point we have a profit more than uh, 40 uh, 400 uh, percent okay but uh, maybe uh, 25 percent of the data we have some drawdown drawdown but this information we could use for machine learning i think uh, we could develop something uh, interesting for us okay so okay it's cut price maybe working um 15 uh, minutes for rci sign on not working also okay um, but for me, maybe uh, the most interesting situation is uh, results uh, for 15 minutes and cuts price because we have all time some up trend of our balance and we could use this information. And uh, so we should uh, uh, try this information for production uh, and test it. Let's look in how it's working. For example, I, um, I did some improvement. And this is uh, this is Repeater Notebook. Let's download the data. Okay, so uh, I upload our inf store information about uh, uh, combination of candle patterns. So let's look in what happens. And also, I would like to test it uh, for one day. For example, its information would be for production. Uh, so I do. A copy of uh, data data set of Binance so um, I I'm input uh, argument payload this information for downloaded data for uploaded data from this folder let's look in uh, what what is it so I create a sign using online candlestick strategy uh, I create uh, this new strategy here a new method I mean here it means uh, we need to input uh, data frame and we should uh, get uh, sign all what we should to do so for example let's see uh, what is information when we have uh, sign all not zero so the last uh, patterns was in this time okay and also we have buy sign all uh, today uh, it was one, two, three, four buy signals and one sh uh, short signal. Okay, and let's test it for example for the last uh, seven days how it's looking. I remember this data with uh, uh, commission of Binance, it's very important. Okay, let's create feature. 
and we create a sign off let's do uh, this information we do the sign off and let's look in um, i would like to show you what is uh, best results looks best results is uh, all information from candle pattern and some statistical for portfolio of what i used for example uh, you see we have candle free inside uh, it's working in many cases for for us uh, and we and when we have a free inside uh, we shoot a short position and patterns uh, too it cuts price of us okay it's very interesting okay let's look in the situation sometimes we have a, a, a different of parameters a profit factor and win rate but we should look in for combination how to look in for back test of balance with drawdown okay so let's look in another combination of patterns it was a bell calls uh, and I did uh, multiply back testing it's uh, really working with these patterns uh, for multiply of kind of time series uh, candle free outside okay I know this is working because um, uh, I test it uh, using a momentum strategy um, for example you have when you have free uh, red bars or free green bars we have for some dependency here but it depends of uh, stage of market but it's another topic for us okay let's look in um, this one uh, closing marbles also working for us and we have uh, a good uh, profit factor okay uh, dragon okay so you see uh, we have multiply of uh, candle patterns and we should uh, do back test and uh, sometimes uh, for one um, I do some filter because uh, uh, I store information for example if you should hold position uh, five uh, bars and and for these five uh, bars I have uh, different uh, statistics and I look in the most um, the, the best uh, parameters of uh, profit factor okay I'm using uh, this method maximum and I input uh, V it means uh, this information from uh, from data when we store information to equal data and I got uh, statistic of uh, our portfolio here stat that's that's very easy showing and we need to find a profit factor and look in the uh, maximum of results and I do some filter for the best results okay let's look in we did it so let's download the data again for the last seven days for example and let's look in what happens um, commission our commission so let's look in what happens and you see we have uh, positive results now let's look in results for drawdown okay so and you could analyze uh, uh, these ideas so i did uh, some research of candle patterns i find uh, the best uh, candle patterns for different time series uh, and i find uh, uh, the best combination uh, candle patterns with another indicators and in general also um, i could explain you for example uh, this is some part of coding but uh, it could be more complex because i could analyze uh, multiply of tickers a more data okay but it's some an example for you how to create a profitable confidence trading strategy and uh, thanks for watching this video guys and explain you more interesting thing for you next time and please subscribe on my youtube channel thanks